All right, oxy fuel. The benefit of oxy fuel is it cuts really thick carbon steels. It's not going to cut aluminum. It's not going to cut stainless. A lot of people will say, "Oh, I've used it and cut stainless aluminum with it." Really, all you did was melt it. It, it doesn't work that way. If you're going to use uh, uh, need a cutting process for stainless or aluminum, you're going to want to go to plasma. That'll cut right through it. Um, any carbon steels, this will cut. That's what it's used for. It's a very common uh, operation that's used in garages. All right, what we're going to do now is uh, show you how to uh, set up a handheld oxy fuel cutting torch. We're going to set it up, cut something real quick, and then show you how to properly break it back down. Uh, oxy fuel, you can use a couple different gases. We're using acetylene. It's probably the most common. It burns good and hot. When you open the bottle, that's the first thing you want to do. You want to open it less than one turn. That way, if something happens, you can come over here and turn the bottle off real quick, and then you won't have gas to continue to come out. Oxygen, you can go ahead and open that all the way. Then you're gonna to wanna to make uh, line pressure with these thumb screws right here. So with oxygen, we're gonna turn this in. See it going up. Just under, I don't know, 55, 60, somewhere around there. Down here, we're gonna go to acetylene. We're gonna turn this thumb screw in. We're gonna go just about. Oops. Leave that off a little bit, a little high. You can see the working pressure is different. It goes down a little bit. So you want to make your adjustments kind of with the with the. Uh, gas going through. Once you have your pressure set, you want to come over here and there's, this is a multi-use torch. So this, th this thing can unscrew and you can put a brazing tip on or an oxy fuel welding tip on or, or whatever. So you want to open this green one, which is your oxygen, all the way up because your adjustments are going to be made up here. If you had a straight cutting torch, this wouldn't be there because that's all it does is cut. The red one, is going to be your acetylene and you can see it's left hand thread it's got notches right there on the uh, nut that goes on the torch to tell you that it's left hand threaded. Lighting this get a uh, igniter it's got a little flint in there and you're going to start with your acetylene so we're going to take your acetylene crack it light it then you're going to adjust your flame in up here, this is your oxygen. The way you want to do this is, when you hit that lever, see how these cones right here are moving a little bit? You want to get it to the point where it's not moving. You hit this lever. That looks pretty good there. Now we're going to come down here and this pipe, get on the edge of it. See that? We're going to get on the edge of it until the kindling temperature is. Kindling point is when it just starts to bubble a little bit. Then you put your oxygen into it. So we're going to get it until it just starts to bubble. Now it's starting to get red. Start the bubble, and we're going to hit it with the oxygen. This falls off. I'm going to break this down and just do everything in reverse. So we're going to kill our oxygen. Kill our acetylene. Then we're gonna come over here and turn our bottles off. Then we're gonna come back over to our torch. We're gonna bleed our oxygen. Get it out of the line. Bleed our acetylene, gauges go down to zero, 
tighten them back up, and take these thumb screws out until you can feel the pressure get off of them. See how it's kind of hard to turn them? And then right here, moves around real easy. It takes the pressure off the diaphragms uh, and the regulators, makes your regulators last a lot longer.